You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for George. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Oh, you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf, right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go 
我们。Get off! You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? Oh no, fuck! You take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard, fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake! I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now. <laughs> Shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Jesus, fuck! Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. <laughs> oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. 
But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf. Would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. I don't have it. Wait here for a second. Mm. 
Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. or anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. They should probably repair that. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh... You I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Bigby, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard- The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but- she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? sure why they have desks in a place like this.
You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you, you think? Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! I know what goes on no, here! No, that's not what I meant! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Ah! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night! I should've fucking known! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing?! You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Stop! Please! Leave him be! This is my fault! You don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. 
Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What's wrong with this guy? must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Yeah. 
there's only one bite taken out of the apple. Whoever was eating it didn't get to finish. I think that might have been Lily. Mr. Smith attacked her while she was eating. It's all so senseless. He's fixated on snow. He attacks without warning. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but there's this other stuff, too. Killing her while she's eating? What? I guess she must have been doing it wrong or something. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? 